Jesus have you read the I've Bible from there. cover to cover? Yes, I've been there too. I've walked the steps that Jesus has stepped. I've That's not the gospel. I've been through the checkpoints. That's not gospel. I'm, all right, so I'm gonna I want to touch on the first part. That's not the gospel. The gospel is the God. No, hold on, wait, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. The gospel is this: that Jesus died. I'm not arguing. I'm gonna get on the mic. So the gospel is this: that Jesus died a sinner's death for your sins and my sin and that he was buried and then that three days later he rose again from the grave so how can you say that you're a christian are you against preaching the gospel are you are you against preaching the gospel have you are you against preaching the gospel i'm asking are you are you against preaching the gospel if you are you against preaching the gospel i'm gonna say like this so how can you be a christian and be against me preaching the gospel I'm saying that is that I would, if I was you, I would really examine your faith because I don't believe that you're truly a Christian based off what you just said. Because one, um, you can judge. You can judge. The Bible says you can judge. And it says you got to take the log out of your own eye so that you can see the you can see the speck in your brother's eyes. How do you take the log out of your own eye? By coming to the true gospel, by, by believing in Jesus and what he's done for us. So I'm, the Bible gives us as Christians a right to judge other Christians because it, the, it starts with us. It starts with us praying for them, praying for the people everywhere that they will come and give their life to Christ. That's the real issue. That's the real heart of the issue is that once you give your life to Christ, everything will start to make sense. God will use that. But I'm saying if you don't, if you're not in Christ, you're not going to really know how to fight any war or any battle because your heart is deceitful. We can fight the intellect all we want to, but if you don't fix our heart, which we're unable to, then nothing's gonna matter. And only Jesus is the only person who can fix that. So that's what I'm sharing with them. I want them to hear this gospel message. God wants them to hear this because there's people in there who, who might die tonight. And what does the Bible say? Do you believe in, do you believe the Bible as authority of God? I'm asking, I'm asking you, do you believe the Bible is it? Do you believe the Bible is a whole authority of God? I'm asking you, do you yes or no? Are you uh, yes or no? I'm de definitely here to have a conversation. That's why we're talking. But I'm saying, I'm saying, are you? Do you do you know, do you believe the Bible to be wholeheartedly God's word? Yes, I do. Okay, so what happens if somebody dies in their sins? What happens? What happens if someone? What happens? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. What happens if someone dies in their sins? You're not responding. I was responding to you. I just want to answer. I just want you to answer this. So you can see where I'm coming from. What happens if somebody dies in what happens if Alright, so what happens if somebody dies in their sins? What happens? What does the Bible say? If somebody dies in their sins, what? My brother, if somebody dies in their sins, what happens? They might go to hell. They they go to hell. That's exactly what the Bible says. That's not what he said. Did you listen to it like they go to hell. That's what. That's the only word I was looking for. They go to hell. That's what, and that's true. And I, the Bible says that God says if they sin against the spirit. No, hold on, my brother. Against, if you if any sin, God. any sin, any sin, any sin separates us from God. Yes. So the Bible says we all have sinned. We all have fallen short of the glory of God. No one's better than the next person. The Bible, and He says because of that sin, because everybody sins, that sin leads us to hell. But he says, that's why Jesus came, because he made us in his image. He says, I don't have to. God says, I find no pleasure in anybody dying in their sins. That's why I came and took their place for them as a gift. It's a gift to them because that's what I want to do for them. Because I love them. I don't, and he says, I don't want anybody to go to hell. But if somebody dies in their sins, they're going to be separated from God for all the eternity. Doesn't matter when you die. We die. People die every single day. 150,000 people die every single day, and they narrowed it down to 106 people per second. So you don't, you never know when you're going to take your last breath. Whether it's in war, whether it's you eating something, you have a heart attack, you get in a car accident. It doesn't matter. Death is going to seize upon us all. It's going to seize upon all of us. And if you die in your sins, it's going to separate you from Him, and He doesn't want that. This is why I'm out here to share that with them because somebody here might die tonight. They might not even hear this message. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is why I'm out here because I have a heart for the people. Go ahead. You can ask me a question. Will you please answer my question? Yeah, I will answer your question 100%. As I drove up here, the only voice I could hear was yours and nothing of what was happening. Good. It's the gospel. But do you believe this is important? I believe the gospel is more important. Are you willing to give them just 20 minutes of uninterrupted time? I'm here to just share the gospel.
that, okay, so you're not going to do what I asked, which is fine, of course. Yeah. But I just wanted to ask you to give them some priority for the world. Because I believe, as a Christian, who has walked in Jesus' footsteps in I don't think I don't believe you are a Christian. I'm sorry. That's your problem, then. That means yeah, that's fine. not a Christian. It doesn't. You don't even know the gospel, sis. You don't know the gospel. You don't. You don't. You just told me the gospel is for, for you to for what? You're not What's to have the gospel? Which is okay. What's the gospel? You're not willing to have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. And I made my ask. Yeah. I'm done. So now I'm gonna go join the protest. Okay. Go ahead. You more than welcome to say my. What's your name? Owen. 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 What's your name? Wes. Wes. Nice to meet you, it's man. Really good to meet you. Man, you got strong oh, hands. You just came from work. Now you good. My hands is always dirty. It's, it's glue. It's not dirty. It's all good. You think that if anyone dies, they go to hell if they're not a Christian? If they're not a Christian. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible teaches. I don't know. That's what the Bible teaches. Is that if you die without Christ, the Bible says, he says, for the gospel of the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He says, whosoever, believe in him. He says, if you believe in him, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the message, what he's done on the cross for you, as a payment for your sins, then you're a child of God. The Bible says you pass over from death to life. But if you don't, the Bible says, it goes on to say that the one who has a son has life. The one who does not have the son doesn't have life. The one who doesn't believe in Jesus doesn't have life. What if they turn into Jesus after they die? That doesn't, it doesn't work that way. The Bible says for today is the day of salvation. The Bible says this, for once is a man appointed to die and after that is judgment. So there's no second chance after you die. I'm not saying I don't agree with you, I'm just pointing the devil. I'm just, no, no, 100%, but I'm just pointing you back to scripture. Because it's not my opinion, it's not my word, you know what I mean? So like, this is the reason why I'm out here because it's for, no, you good. It's for that one person who 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 doesn't know the actual gospel. That one person who doesn't who doesn't have that relationship with Christ. What I'm actually here for is like these people need to hear the gospel, man. Because it's people here who might not make it tonight. They might get hit on this road just because someone crazy might just hit them from the other side. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't believe in the gospel, what's going to happen to them? They're going to die and go to hell. And I don't want that to happen. Neither does God. So yeah, this seems goes contrary to what's going on here, what I'm doing. But this is this is the will of God that He wants people to hear the gospel, and it's important. He says He finds no pleasure in anybody down there in the sin. He said He don't care where you came from. He said I'll be the one to clean you. I will cleanse you of everything, of all your sin. You don't get right. He said, I will make you right. I will give you the heart. He said, I will take the heart of stone out of you and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, cause you to walk out the mouth of righteousness and not the my statutes. And you will keep them. See, the Bible is for people. The God is for people, for people against the God because they don't want to give up their sin. They don't want to give up their evil deeds.